Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplify. I hope you're finding this session useful and subscribing to the channel. In today's session, I'm here to talk about one of the new feature which is in public preview within Azure Backup called Cross-Region Restore. So what is Cross-Region Restore and why Microsoft has to bring this feature? is because uh, because you were able to uh, restore your machine within a region. So what is the need of uh, bringing this cross-region restore? I'll explain that uh, in a moment. So as you can see on the diagram, I have two region. One is East and the other is West US, and these are the paired region. And we all know that uh, what paired region does. So basically your data is replicated from one region to another, and they'll make sure that uh, data still resides within the geographical boundary of that country. So once you configure a recovery service vault, you have this option of deploying this in a storage within locally redundant and geo redundant storage. So locally redundant, as you know, that it will create three copies within one region. And if you're talking about geo, it will create six copies or so three copies per region. And one of the prerequisite for this is that you need to have geo redundant storage with CRR enabled. And we'll look into that in the portal in a moment, but that's what is required because you need to replicate the data from one region to another to utilize this capability. Now, the other thing is that even if you had configured this, your storage account with a, a geo-written storage, you have to wait till now for Microsoft to announce full or partial disruption of service. And then you'll be able to access the data in the secondary region. And a lot of customers, obviously, they didn't uh, like it, even though, as you said, that uh, if I have configured a storage account uh, via GRS, I should be able to access. That's one thing. Other thing is that uh, from maybe from the testing purpose, if you want to do that, you still have to wait for that uh, Microsoft to announce this. Now, with this cross-region restore, my data is always available. I can always... Uh, do restore and that I can pick a uh, secondary region. Obviously, it has to be a paid region. And also from the testing purposes, maybe I need to show this to my compliance team. Uh, I can do that. I can do on a regular basis this testing drill. So that is what uh, uh, the demand for this CRR was. And that's the reason they have brought this. Now, in order to use this, let's look at the Azure portal. What are the configurations? So in this example, I will take the server with the name RDS, as you can see on the East US side, that's the server I will use, right? So let's go to the portal. And if I type in recovery service vault, I can go and click on add. It's pretty standard process, which we have done before too. So let's name this demo RSV. Actually, I can put this in actually uh, existing one I don't need to create. I think I do have. So let's put this in TDRG and name this demo RSV. Review and create. Click on create. Okay, so if I go and open my recovery service vault, if I can go and go under the properties, Backup configuration, go to the update. By default, as you can see, that uh, it is geo redundant. So, for this feature to use, you need to have a story what you call geo redundant. If you want to change it to locally redundant, you won't be able to use this. So, that is what is uh, recommended. And other thing is that you need to enable the cross region restore. So, you click on the enable button and click on the save. So, this is the prerequisite you need to have in order to utilize this feature. So, let's close this and come out of this. Now, what I've done is I've already created a recovery service vault with the name RSV. So just going back to my diagram. So this I have already created. I've already done a full backup of my RDS server. So if I can go under backup items, you'll see that I have done full backup because I don't want you to wait to and sit around because it takes some time for this backup to take place. And if I go inside this, that is the new difference. So you see, you all, uh, always had this restore VM button, obviously the file recovery too, 
But this is a new thing that we store to a secondary region. And the second region, in this case, we're talking about is the paired region. So now if I go and expand this, obviously I need to pick a restore point. I only have one, the, the one, the latest one that I created. And at this stage, for the re restore type, I have two options. I can create a new virtual machine or I can just restore the disk and mod this. So if I pick my create new restore disk, I need to give it a name to this. So let's say RDSCRR. So I can name this, for example, here. And I've already created the resource stove, the VNet, the subnet, and the storage account that will be needed. Obviously, you need to have a network where you want to deploy this. So if I go under the virtual machine name for the resource group, it is uh, CRRG. So all these ones are now in the in the West US because that's where I want to restore. CRR subnet. and the staging location, so the uh, location I want. So basically the storage account, I already have in the name CRR SA and I will click on the restore button. So these are the steps you need to follow in order to utilize this feature. And as I mentioned earlier, that uh, it's still in preview. So you have to be mindful of putting this into the production environment. But uh, definitely uh, for a lot of use and a lot of customers, they were uh, asking for it. And once this machine has been restored, you will see that uh, coming in the West US. So this was a quick video on uh, cross-region restore uh, within Azure Backup. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.